Hi guys, I'm Richard and welcome back to our channel. If this is your first visit, very, very warm welcome to you. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. It will be great to have you along for future videos. And if you have any comments or questions, do add them and we will do our very best to get back to your queries. Now we have just spent two incredible weeks scuba diving in Indonesia. We spent a week with the fantastic team at the Alamia Law in Alor and also an incredible week uh, at Komodo Dive Resort in the Komodo National Park. Anyone who's been to Indonesia will know how insanely good it is. Muck diving, super macro critters, crazy currents, sharks, mantas, we were spoilt rotten. We've got a ton of footage, we've got a ton of photos, so please keep an eye out for those uh, videos that will be landing soon from both underwater and with the drone. Now, before we went away, we needed to get a few bits from our friends over at Mike's Dive Store for the trip. Um, we popped over there and that very morning they had taken delivery of a brand new dive computer that has just landed onto the market and they asked us if we would like to take it with us to give it a try. Obviously, any of you that know us well will know that we jumped at the chance. We like doing videos like this, product review videos, and uh, whether that be sweatsuits, BCDs, uh, dive computers, um, we like to sort of put our own spin on a review um, to see what other people think. So obviously we jumped to the chance. Uh, and that dive computer is the new Aqualung i770R uh, color screen. Um, we were given it brand new in a box and we were also given a um, new Aqualung um, transmitter to go with it so that we could um, give it a proper go. So let's have a look inside the box to see what we were playing with. So we have the Aqualung Dive Computer Safety and Reference Manual. This computer does come with a two year guarantee, so it's worth keeping this for safekeeping just in case you need to reference it in the future. Dive Computer itself comes in this nice little pouch. It's quite robust, quite sturdy, it's very difficult to squash. Uh, lightweight, like a, a, a stitched nylon case. It's got a small D-ring on the rear, and then there's two zips to fasten it. Two compartments. Bottom compartment has a dive computer in it. Top compartment has a little zip pocket. And in that little zip pocket, you will find your bungee attachments if you want to get rid of the strap. And also your download cable, which doubles up as your charge cable. Um, I've not had to use this. I'll explain to you why in uh, just a second. But let's have a look at the dive computer first. In... So two little uh, Velcro fasteners hold the dive computer in. There is a nice little um, screen protector to keep the screen nice and safe. Okay, the dive computer itself. Two buttons on the bottom to select through the menu. And then on the top right you have a button which is to uh, make a selection or to hold it down and go back through the menus. You'll notice the strap, this is what is called a G10 strap, or better known as a NATO strap. So called because it was military issue during the war. Uh, this is as tough as old boots, this is uh, woven nylon. The stainless steel buckle uh, is very, very sturdy, and all of the uh, joints are all laser stitched. So this thing is um, literally... Um, I'll say cast iron, but that would make it really heavy, but it is super strong, it really is super strong. I've not used the nylon strap before on a dive computer, I found it quite comfortable, it's very light, it's very pliable, quite like it. Dive computer itself, so turn it on, hold down the top right button, and you will see this lovely colour screen pop up. The little Aqualung underwater scene, thought was quite a nice touch, you obviously got a little bit of camera flicker through this camera here. Now I mentioned the charge cable earlier on and the fact that I hadn't used it. Uh, this is because when I picked this up from Mike's dive store the battery was on 87%. I didn't charge it before I went away, I didn't charge it while I was away, I've done 30 dives, I've been back 10 days and so here we are four weeks after picking it up and the battery is still on, if I can just zoom in, uh, it's on 39% which I think is pretty blooming astounding. I, I can't believe that um, it's used less than half of its battery capacity over the space of uh, a very long dive trip and um, lots of standby modes going through logs and things. 
One of the features that I really liked with this computer uh, was that when you're in the home menu and select My Info, you can input your DAM membership number, your blood type, and your emergency contact details, uh, telephone number. I thought it was a great idea. You never know where you are in the world and what might happen. So having that information to hand was, um, I thought, uh, a good thing to have. So just going through some of the options, down to um, setup. You can obviously set the, the the display, so we just sort of see. You can change the brightness, the auto dim, the PO2, maximum operating depth. Uh, just going back, you can obviously set the date, the time, uh, the language. You can select English, Italian, French, and German. And uh, it's obviously a Bluetooth function, so you can connect your uh, dive computer to your smartphone or your tablet. Um, connect to the Diverlog app, which is free to download. And then you can interact with your IS770R uh, with the latest Bluetooth smart technology. You can remote control all of your IS770R settings, view your log, profile data, add location, notes and other, other details. Um, then we have, we just come back out of that. So if we go down to mode, you've got a dive mode, a gauge mode, and a free dive mode. Let's come back out of that. And there's obviously history, you can see the, the history. So it's done a total of 30 dives while I was away. Total dive time, 28 hours. Maximum dive, 70 minutes. Average dive time, 56 minutes, and so on and so forth. Just coming back out of that, down into log. You can obviously see each of your individual entries, you can select down through them, and then selecting it will then allow you to see the data for that dive, your no deco, see what time I went in, dive, how long the dive was. And then there's a nice little dive profile for you. So just going into mode, select and dive will take us through to the main dive screen. And then when we're in here, if we hold down the left button, we can then go in and set our transmitters. Now, like I said to you before, it was very intuitive. We just went into transmitters and then set the transmitter. As with many dive computers these days, you set your the serial number that's on the, actually if I just get the, the pod out, I can just get the transmitter pod out. Um, you set the pod, to connect to the serial number that is on the transmitter and then that, that is paired for life so no need to worry about the transmitter not pairing you can add four transmitters to this dive computer um, so it's great for uh, maybe side mount or with stages You can also set your alarms, you can set your utilities, units, sample rate, deep stop, safety stop, whether you want it conservative or not, your water type, whether you want it salt or fresh water. Uh, set your plan, set your gas. So I was diving, last dive was on 32% at a PO of uh, 1.4, maximum rotating depth of 33.8, according to this unit. So really all above all, that is how easy it is to work. Um, it's one button to select, two buttons on the bottom take you up and down through the menus, and that is as easy as it can be. So I've got a small admission. I found something else in the box which I didn't know was there, which means I've taken it all the way to Indonesia and not realised. There was a digital disc of instructions in the bottom of the box and also a quick reference guide, which I didn't know were there. I don't think you're going to need them. I didn't need them, I didn't need them at all. So I'm going to put them back in the bottom of the box for the next person that uses it not to find. Uh, a few things to call out. It's depth rated to 100 meters and the price, the RIP of the IS770R is 620 pounds. Um, today is the 18th of October, 2018. Um, and considering what it's up against, in terms of its depth rating, its price, I'd probably say its main capacitor was probably going to be the Eon Core, uh, and that's probably a, a reasonable price for it. I think it was a really great unit uh, for what it was. Um, 
The iOS 770 i has a ton of features. I'm not going to list every single one out. You can see for yourself on the internet or go to Mike's Dive Store and look at the list of features in there. It'd be much easier for you to do that. Um, it's got a rechargeable lithium battery. There is a small feature on the dive computer which tells you not only the capacity of the battery, uh, the battery in the dive computer, but also of the transmitter, which I thought was a neat idea. It's got a high contrast color TFT screen. Great clarity, very clear. I didn't have any issue seeing the screen underwater or reading the figures at all uh, during the dive trip. Uh, the Bluetooth data transfer that allows you to connect to the Diver Log app, I thought was a really, really great feature. Um, you can connect your, spot, your smartphone or your tablet to the dive computer, download your logs, add features in. And you can also remotely control all of your i770R settings via your phone with the app. Uh, you can view your log, change your settings, set your profile, which I thought was a, was a really cool thing. And don't forget with the Hosis integration you can connect four wireless transmitters to the computer so you can see four different gases during the dive. And once you've connected a transmitter, that's it, it's paired for life, you don't need to worry about going backwards and forwards with it. So in summary, this is a fantastic bit of kit, I'm really really quite impressed with this. I've never used an Aquaman dive computer before, so I was a little bit concerned it was going to be uh, alien to me, or it was going to be different to use. I've said previously that both my dive computers that I uh, use regularly are, are Cintos, I use a Viper Air and a, uh, a, an Eon Steel. And, and that's purely because when I started out and diving many, many years ago, Cinto was the, the brand that was recommended to me, that was my first basic dive computer, and I've stuck with that brand. And because of that, I find the menus easy for me to navigate through because they're all very similar. I haven't looked at a single instruction book, I've not looked online at what to do, I was able to pair my transmitter intuitively, it's very very easy, uh, I've uh, to set my gases, to go through my logs, everything I've had to do on this unit has been second nature, I'm, I'm really really impressed at how easy this is to use and this is going to be um, a very very popular uh, dive computer for the recreational diver. Um, I like the idea of the, this NATO nylon strap. Um, my, both my computers now have, uh, have, have the rubber, rubber stretchy strap. Um, but yeah, I liked it. It's a comfortable one. No issues with it snagging. Uh, I think it looks quite good. I quite like the, uh, the black NATO. Maybe a lot, and I think I quite like the fact it's called a NATO strap. It's quite cool. But yeah, all in all, I think it's fantastic. I, th I think I said this about the last dive computer, but if you are in the market for a um, uh, a very good, a very good recreational dive computer, then you really should be looking, um, you know, at this. Go along to your local stockist, go along to your local dive centre, have a play around with one, have a have a play with the menus. It's so easy to use. I think it's really competitively priced at the price it's at. What is there not to like about it? So. On that note, I think I'm going to sign off and leave you guys in peace. So, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or queries, please do add them below. If you've liked what you've seen, give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any friends out there in the dive world that you think would be interested in watching the video on the Aqualung i770R color screen dive computer, please give it a send to them, give it a share, and um, I will look forward to speaking to you guys very, very soon on the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye.